forgot to start recording. Hello everyone, I'm Aaron and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Back after a pretty long break actually, I ended up not recording last week, hopefully that doesn't mess with the schedule, it's hopefully it won't. But anyway, we are back and we are ready to continue the exploration. So last time we did a couple of missions, we got the, the new stable, we went back to HQ, we also spent a little too long on the depths, but uh, we are here to go to Kakariko village to explore some of these other areas, just keep getting through those stables, and hopefully we'll be able to do it this time, hopefully, we'll see, let's get through this, so hopefully we can get to the Gerudo region pretty soon, but anyway, let's keep it going, I, oh yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. I showed up here because I was supposed to do this shrine to be able to teleport back to the stable so because this is just to teleport back I might actually skip I might actually cut it I don't know how do you guys feel about shrines actually do you guys think like do you want to see all of them I guess I mean it's interesting right because they are all like very unique I'd say forward force yeah I, I think I'll keep them to the most of my ability if anything hopefully we can get through them pretty fast so yeah so forward force we got some lava got this ball and we have this so something to push it forward? Do we have any of that kind of tool? Mm, doesn't seem to. Well, there's some stuff over there, but I think I just... Yeah. I think I just place it on the... On the boat or forward force, right? I think if I just put it on the middle, will that be alright? Like, will that... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot I picked this up from the, the underground. Okay, I will use the long stick. I don't know if there will be fighting in this time. Hopefully not. But yeah, oh, wait. Um. Oh, I guess I can make it from over there. Which, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that in the, inside of the shrines, it doesn't really use your energy. The sand. Why is there another? Whoa, what? Can we use this? Right, like, can I stick it to this? I don't think it goes low enough, right, that I can hit the... Uh, or maybe it does. No, I don't think that's low enough. Um, but there's also this platform, which I don't know where exactly is where the... Oh. Maybe? I don't know. Let's, let's just try something. Yeah, place that there. Oh, but that doesn't... Oh, okay, I gotta place it the other way. I think. Because I'm assuming... Uh, I'm assuming I can disconnect this, right? Yes, okay. We might be on to something. Yeah, because I can go up the stairs there, so I don't have to take that with me. Yeah, let's place that. Can I place it on the lower end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Place one here. We'll place another one to the front, right? And then this one here. Will that be enough? I think it is. I, th I think so. So, okay, let's place that here in the middle. Then, then, oh, then, there we go. That... Oh, uh, can I give it a bit, a bit of a push? Nope, that does not hit. Dang it. Okay, let's, let's deactivate this for now. We are off to a great start, I know. Okay, so... I spent a little too long trying to figure this out. I found the solution, eventually. And I was sure that that wasn't right. But then, uh, right now, I looked up the solution of the, the puzzle. And I don't think anyone, well, at least the, the guy that I looked up, I don't think they really know if that's how it was supposed to be accomplished. But you can see that I'm pulling the platform up to where I'm supposed to grab the, the ball. And then I let it go. And then I'm able to use recall to call it back. I'm just keeping all this because it's a long episode then. <laughs> I honestly was not expecting to spend that much time in this. But the point being is that, yeah, the, I looked it up and apparently that's the solution that uh, at least IGN, I believe, also states. That's the correct solution. But then it's like, then what? What's with the other devices? You know, what's with the tire that was on top of the, the hill? What's with those weird platforms in the middle? Like, what, what was this puzzle? I have no idea. If you guys know any other possible solution, please do let me know. Because I am so confused to this point, and it, I'm, I'm a little upset, honestly, from how long it took me <laughs> to figure it out. Because it's like, there is no indication that that's what you're supposed to do, but I don't know. Again, I mentioned it in the video, I'm probably gonna cut it out, because again, time. But I do say that it's probably another shrine before this that I didn't do that maybe helps you figure that out a little easier, and it just assumes that you have played that, so you will know, but I don't know. That, that's me giving them the most benefit of the doubt I can. <laughs> this was a weird one, but anyway. And the next one, I mean, the next one I, di I didn't solve the way that it's supposed to, just a heads up. The next part of this puzzle, I mean. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave you to pass, Darren. Got him! 
Goodbye mechanism. We did it. Wait, so am I supposed to create something that I can like push it over there? Or am I supposed to... Why are you going over there? What? <laughs> Maybe that is the way that I can do it. I don't know what the deal with that weird ramp was. But that threw the whole thing up for me. I mean, I can just do the same thing here. I can just attach these pieces. And hopefully grab them from over there, from up top. There you go. And now we just bring it with us. Surely the water don't pull it back. Oh no. It's right here. There you go. Got it. I have no idea where they were going with this. Oh, this is the beginner. Yeah, this is where we could place the ball. I don't know why I thought this was before. Yeah, like uh, in between chamber between this and the, the end. But nope. There you go. We made it in the end. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of <laughs> The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Dang, that was not the shrine to start back up, you know, after two weeks of not playing this game. So anyway, with that out of the way, can we call our trusty Rocinante? Is it? Yes, it's Rocinante. Hello, Rocinante. Oh, over here. Hello there. Hey. There is domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've, I've already been there. No. Appreciate it. Do you name? Yeah, let's see. What are you selling? What are you selling? I don't have any of this, so yeah, maybe, maybe I will take some of it. Ooh, fireproof lizard. Hardy salmon. Oh, those might be good, but it's eighty. Holy crap! I'll take two of these. Yes. No. Two of these. Yes, I'm good for now. Thank you. Should be this way. So this is for uh, I keep Hateno. Yeah, should be going to Hateno. What other quests do we have? Side adventures. We have the potential sightings, which is the stables. Oh, message from ancient era. From an ancient era. Yeah. So that is to Kakariko Village. Oh, we have already unlocked Kakariko Village. Okay. I guess let's go that way. And then after that, we can go to Hebra. See if we can unlock. Actually, there was in a stable. I did cut it from last episode. There was a uh, the, the little mission, a little side quest, I think, for uh, camera. And I think, I don't know if it's in HQ, because I don't know if we can get to Pura in HQ. And we can talk about getting a camera. I don't know, I don't really want to go back to HQ right now. I just want to keep it going, you know. Well, let's also see if in this area we can find some mighty pistol. Because I do remember there was... Oh, wait, can I get something from hitting that? <laughs> had to try, you know. Might be further ahead. I don't know if it will be similar to the previous game where you had that chance. Uh, but yeah, let's get some Mighty Thistle to upgrade our uh, damage increase armor, which is what I got. Oh, wait, hold on. Burn this area. What is lurking in here? Oh, hello. It's a member. Okay. That's cool, that's cool. I feel like they have considered that because this was... Oh, that's healing tomato. I thought it was some pepper. <laughs> well, that's cool. What is, what is up there? Oh, oh. oh, I don't remember that. It's cool, though. Kariko Village, oh, oh. here we are. It's Lady Paya. Oh, yeah, Paya. We haven't seen Paya yet. <laughs> In how many episodes? 16? I think the last episode was 16. Good grief. It's Lady Paya's duty to take care of the village. Well, whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. I... Hmm? Hey. Oh. Ooh. Is that really you? L Link? Why, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock. I didn't expect to see you here... To see you appear here in our village. Uh. And right now... Well, our chief is... Chief? Oh. Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. I did hear about it. Again, I think they expect you to... Because this was the, one of the first areas that you were led to in the previous game, in Breath of the Wild. I think they expect some people to immediately go this way instead of where, you know, where indicated origin uh, for this one. Now, Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko Village. I've been working as her assistant, but... Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Oh yeah, uh, they're speaking of the stable part that I cut. <laughs> there was a mention of that. That uh, they wanted a picture uh. of it. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zone server survey team. That ruin over there. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Will you do me a favor and stop by to see Lady Pai? Okay, no problem. Um, hello. That's disappointing. So that's, yeah, that's one of the ring ruins. Whoa! What the heck? Yeah. Hello? The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched. Especially this one. The way that it floats up there. We have the foresight to focus on all these special ruins and invite the Serbi team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm, I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh, no, no, I, I'm no chief. 
I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather, rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to... Hmm? Hi, Paya. Uh... Oh, is that you, Master Link? What up? <laughs> I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Yeah, let's go. Hi, Paya. I'm overjoyed that both you and the Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Hmm. Uh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Oh boy. It was immediately after the upheaval. Yep. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko village. So that's who set up the investigation? She ordered us all to stay far away from the rain ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. And the newspaper is missing on some big stories with these rain ruins. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect at least. But still, I know you will not misspeak, Master Link. Especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. That's cool. What's up, Taru? It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. The suffering detects show that each slab contained rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. Right. <laughs> so it's like, we just didn't listen to her, by the way, just to sell that. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate, as that will go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could mirror her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show, show herself? Mm. She must have a reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Oh, stop, I won't. The chief of the Chica tribe, she takes the duties she inherited from her grandmother, Impa, seriously. And she trusts strength in her own way from being a gentle soul at heart. I don't know about uh, taking the job seriously. But I guess she does, yeah. Like, she does not want it, but she still has the sense of responsibility. Which is cool. She has considerable affection for Link, in part because of her grandmother's many tales about the hero who defeated the Calamity. Hmm, yep, yeah, that's me. So, oh, Toro too. Dang, I've got a pro profile for Toro. An explorer whose passion for field research is unrivaled. He lives to make big discoveries, and he spent a long time traveling solo, investigating ruins. He is also an expert in reading Zonai writing. Princess Zelda found him to be the perfect choice for leading the Zonai survey team. Interesting. Because I guess Zonai investigation was happening before, right? Zelda was freaking out about it at the beginning of the game. So I guess, yeah, that would have... He would have been appointed before Zelda... Um, or quote-unquote Zelda showed up, right? Soon so. Now, where do we continue the quest? Oh, here. A little uh, interaction we had at the uh, HQ with the ancient text. Let's see... Can we go... Is it with you? Oh yeah, that. Yeah. That pillar, exactly. Uh, Link, good of you to come. Too curious to stay away, eh? Hey? Who are you again? <laughs> what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at Lookout Landing. Are you curious about my findings here, Link? It, yeah, a oh. little bit. This is a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at Lookout Landing. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrule that I had in store at the research lab. Mm. Here's what it says. Once held, I honor Al's Hogmaid to Kyong Roru and Queen Sonia, thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda. Here on this great stand and twelve more with make he ended in time with the royal family. So mixed her hero, I guess. Remembrance preserving for the sake of him in whom our hope rests. Mm. There is not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Roru and Queen Sonia, the founders of Hyrule. The name Zelda is clearly legible elsewhere in the text. The author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Now, how do you know? 
How do we know she? It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There is no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts we've unearthed so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Hyrule's founding. Yeah, so there was that uh, in Hyrule Castle. There was a mention that uh, the girl born from the royal family will be called Zelda, like every generation. So I wonder if like, Zelda got named after herself, you know what I mean? Like she was the original Zelda. And then it went down through generations until it went to she was named after that Zelda. <laughs> That'll be crazy. What's written here must be the start of, the, of a first hand account of Hyrule. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 there? That means there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. Oh, yeah. If a royal chamberlain really left this, oh. it's an interesting perspective on the day to day life of the era, one which the storybooks don't mention. There is so much we could learn here from King Raru, Queen Sonia, or even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. 12 stones left. Fascinating. Wait, so did the text say that the sister is the one who wrote this? Is this why the dude's saying she? That, that's the part that I didn't quite understand. I guess, oh, I guess I can look at the log, yeah. Uh, no, it says, held I honor, I don't know what, King Raro, Queen Sonia, thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda. So yeah, it's not the sister. So I don't know where, where the dude got she from. Unless I'm missing something, which I could be. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. Make sure it's a nice reward in it for you. Okay, this is definitely gotta get that. Yeah, Robbie showed me something back when he was researching the ring ruins. He held it a camera. It would instantly create a picture wherever he pointed it. Okay, I'm glad I skipped that other thing with the stable, then if we were just gonna get it here. The picture was so clear that it was like looking at the real thing. Well, I had pictures that clear of these stone tablets I'm researching. Okay. Also, we got a new... yeah. New thing from this quest. So there really are quite a few things to do in this. So we gotta get the camera. So I guess this is a good chance to go get it, right? Because that's where this mission ends. And I don't know if whatever interaction we have at Lucas Landing about that will maybe lead us to Hebra region or to... Maybe even to Akala, which we already went to, but... You know, gotta go back again. <laughs> it does feel like, even though Breath of the Wild there was so much to do, this feels even more packed. Okay, so where will Robbie be? Oh, right there. Oh. Come on, please, what's up? Uh, what a pleasant morning! Hey, you! Is it true you've got the Pura pad? Yes, yeah, sir. Pura and I work together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know? We should have called it the Robby pad, technically speaking. Huh. Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the deaths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into a castle myself. Damn, <laughs> sounds very dangerous. No way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gal gallivanting around town there too. Around town? Right? Around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. Haven't they been standing here ever since I did a little interaction with? Pura at the beginning of the game. I feel like I should have done this way earlier. <laughs> I'm not about to allow our young protege to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite students, it would be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it will help us better understand the deaths. What figure? Oh, Swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Oh, <laughs> Joshua, head of the deaths, or Yosha. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. A survey team brought back some artifacts from his journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh, is it the statue over there, or... Oh. Oh, that fear. Oh. Interesting. This piece of slate. Specifically, the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, <laughs> I have a theory. Ah, ancient theory. I think it will be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous, and he won't let me go. Yosha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that slate. And Blink will join me. Dang, wait, are we? We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles a figure on the, on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapath's camera to take a picture of it for Yosha. A perfect plan. Camera, right. 
You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Purapad's basic features. I like the idea that Zelda used the Purapad all the time, didn't let Link use it, so Link has no idea. <laughs> Link is just a boomer with the Purapad. It's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. Well, go on ahead. Once you're ready and ready to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, so we've always had the camera function? Link does just doesn't know how to use it? Wait, hang on! Uh, oh. what's up, Jisha? <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got rubbed into all these swords, man. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he lives before he looks. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, thank you. Oh, and take this too. Oh, thanks. I like that detail of yeah, her giving us the, the stuff that's on the table, and it goes away. The casts are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright blonde seat to an arrow and shoot it, it light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Well, we can also just throw it. It's weird that they would assume that it's with the, the arrows, or that they will tell us that it's with the arrows. <laughs> Imagine how many people use so many... I mean, I used so many arrows attaching it to stuff. Oh, actually, I just did that. By trying to burn that game, I could have just thrown the the, the, the fire seed. <laughs> but, all right. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's southern gate. You'll find the custom goggles used, used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works. <laughs> But I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Sure, no problem. I dang, I was really not expecting to go into this quest. Hi, Yosha. Uh, -huh. young scientist whose genius earned the role of holding up depth research. Yosha finds it thrilling to be working with Bura. Though she helps with various investigations into Princess Elder's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the depths. So, so what's her deal? What's her story? Because I first assumed that. Oh, hello. Nope, it's definitely not going this way. Yeah, but I always assumed that Robbie adopted her. Oh, there you are. Hello. Sorry. Oh, another statue. Yeah, I always assumed that Jaren and Robbie has, uh, either had her or adopted her. But I guess she wasn't in Breath of the Wild, so I, I, I assumed this, uh, they adopted her. Good morning. Have you created the goddess today? She watches over Hyrule, you know? Good morning, good night, see you later. I'm home. Aww. It's important to touch base with the goddess. I do want to... Yes, I, I want to get maybe more hearts, because I already have quite a bit of stamina. I think for the time being I'll get one more heart container. Since we're going to the depths, definitely the heart containers are necessary. And then maybe next time I'll use um, stamina, yeah. Alright, so I'm assuming we still don't know how to use the camera. We need Robbie to teach us. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's... Yeah, because it just says all boom and then... Yeah, probably one of these will be the camera. Okay, let's go and do that mission, I guess. So, I mean, th this should be the southern gate, right? Because south yes so is the chasm over there didn't they say right outside though i mean i guess it will be dangerous if it was like right outside actually there is also that shrine i guess if i had unlocked that shrine before would have been able to get it but here you go hyrule field chasm so i'm assuming that's the way right i mean here yeah the, the waypoint is right here obviously let's go wait so how did robbie get down here um oh starting to get a little scared <laughs> oh my Okay, here we go. Oh, made it on the balloon. Smart. Oh, what's up? How far did Robbie go? Wait, where did Robbie go? Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Panic from the Sonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. But he rushed along with some with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Dang. So he just went into the dark. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. No. Oh. And he just kept going. I see the campfire and going. Oh gosh. And last I saw him, he was heading way on there, off to the west. Why? Why Why did he go so far? Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I, I do. Yes. Oh, if I say I don't, does he give me... Oh no, he said he just used them all up. Yeah. Ah. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Oh, thank you. Yes. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes further. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Thank you. Will do. Those are so those are fireflies. I keep thinking that they're fairies, but no, 
Um, I'm not gonna use Breblon Seeds in this area because I'm assuming this will probably light up a bunch of the, this place. So yeah, weird that I didn't find this in the other area. I guess it, it just wasn't a thing. That's weird, right? Because you we, should be, surely there will be an area to, or a way to teleport down. I don't know. Oh my gosh, again. <laughs> the light would dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Nice. This is an interesting place. Oh, left some notes. Hey you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright blooms with me. As one of the few sources of light, glowing roof growing, growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but this looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing roof that I see spinning west of here. So you better hurry up and get moving. I got you. Wait, is it really? Is it roughly under the shrine? That is, yeah, there is a shrine here. So, oh, either way, I guess we, yeah, let's go following the other chasm. The other chasm. What? The, the other camp. And then the other camp is way over there. Oh, and there's another of these. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, some enemies. Wait, so was that not the camp? Was that not Robbie's camp? I assume it will be this way. Guess not. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I guess here we are, uh, here we go. Oh boy, I don't have... All of these are long, right? I need... Gosh darn it. Oh no, this one is short. Okay, good. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Gonna hit ya. Yep. Hit ya. Oh gosh. I should probably deactivate these guys when, when I'm fighting, but... I mean, they are they are heavy enough help, so... Don't think I should... Oh my gosh. They actually get... Dang. Let me not take that. See, this time they were of help. Oh, don't, don't get close to that. Let's uh, light it up from a, you know, oh, from a good area. Is that hit? Yes. Should have, should have done that earlier, but it's fine. <laughs> I did not notice it. Got a lot of sun. Oh, yeah, I should get more batteries. I forget. There's so much to do in this game. I want to extend my battery package so that I can, you know, whenever I go to another temple, I'm not running out all the time. It would be cool if in the temple, similar to the shrines, the, the energy doesn't go away. Okie dokie. So now, I guess let's go to that area, but I don't see where Robbie will be. So maybe it's not this way. Let, let me just unlock that. Po oh, gosh. It was gloom right there. Yeah, you guys can, can go. Don't worry. Okie dokie. Oh, there's Robbie. Okay, let me unlock this real quick. We already know the deal. Hi, Robbie. What? Look at how bright that thing got. The light down in the dark is downright refreshing. It, it really is. Uh, hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. How strange indeed. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. What's up? I need to show you what I found. Ah. This statue. It's standing tall on two legs. One arm raised high. Looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Yeah. Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. Hmm, give me that Purapad for a second, alright? Sure. Are you telling me... There's the problem. Yeah, Zelda didn't take any pictures when she was over on the... when she was in the past. Because the Zonai helpers held on to it until we, we got to the, the temple of... or the Garden of Time, right? So, I wonder. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... Oh. There you go, capture images using the Purapad, you can save them to the album. And then we have the compendium, right? Take pictures of stuff, saying it helps us track them down. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out, experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Sure thing. So I just do this. Whoops. Uh, this. Mm-hmm. Sure. I mean, maybe from the front will be better. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. I mean, we see it from the profile, like in the statue. Yeah. Like in the figurine, I mean. Hey, you. How'd that go? If you've captured an image of the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. 
What if I just left you? I'm like, <laughs> not the googly eyes. What if I just left you and just go do the other mission? So, did you get a good picture? I'd say so. Check a look. Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root. Getting you a picture of that statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Yosha wait too long for that picture. So you got it. Yep. I can go too. Yeah, and I, I'm fine. Because we already got the waypoints. So we can just go straight up as well. Success. Yes, indeed. Hey, you. Show Yosha the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool too. Hey. <laughs> this is it. It does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you. For going down there, we should have done like a 360, you know, session of it. Because, you know, she, she definitely would have liked that. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they are, which confirms my theory that people live in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is... Oh. A big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, well, before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our early surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think this is for? Ah, there you go. So we got that sonnet. I feel as if this contains some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. That framing has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our survey have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. You got it. Camera work from the depths. I was wondering... Pose. If we can give this to you? You who stand before me. I am one who returns pose to the afterlife where they belong. Offer pose to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Sure, here's a pose for you. I have a hundred and eight. Yes. Oh, this is indeed a pose. What pitiful beings these are. They have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Oh, I wonder if those were the original, the original people who lived there in the depths. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return post to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You shall take this. Oh, thank you. Oops, I, I lost that before. If you offer me more posts, I will give you suitable compensation. I have a lot, so... Appreciate that. Dark tunic. Tunic obtained by offering post to a strange statue. It's a spurious replica of the green outfit once worn by laser. Oh, it's like a dark link. Outfit, cool. Um, I'll get some more dark clumps, but I'm definitely saving for that. Yes, I think we're fine right now. Yeah. My brethren, whose spirits reside in statues far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. Oh yeah, where are they? Because I do have the big pose, so yeah. If you offer me 10 posts, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. Tell me. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you of the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. I sorry if it was where I was before. Oh, no, that will be on that area, yeah. Go to the location indicated on your map. Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of this land. Yeah, I guess that's what's tough about open world that you don't really know. Also, sorry for walking over you. You don't really know in what order to do things. Because there's so much to do. You know, it's kind of suffering from success in a way. But I'm just saying from a like, stream, or not stream, a video narrative perspective. <laughs> Missing out on that definitely feels like, you yeah, know, not, not very efficient. Also, yep. Yeah. What's up, dude? How... What do I need to give you again to expand this? Crystal refinery, right? Crystallized charges, right. Materials used in the creation of energy wells. They're made by processing zonite. It is unique material found beneath the surface, right? To, for, to a forest construct for processing. Uh, don't think I have a hundred crystallized shells. Damn. So where would a processing one be? Huh, unless it's on the, the island? But yeah, I gotta keep in mind that I can do that. So yeah, it's refinery, but then I need a forgery, right? I need a forgery. So, okay, I guess for now, let's go to Kakariko. And uh, I think next episode, we can start making our way, finally, to Hateno. Just to see what we find there. I don't know if there will be, like, a mission. 
that we need to do over there, or if it's just... I don't know. But, I mean, we, we also have that other mission of taking the pictures of the... What was it? Of the oh, of those pillars, right. Which I don't know where they will be, but maybe we can figure it out. I don't know. I don't know if we'll be doing that on... I was gonna say on stream, on camera. But they are part of this, so... Maybe. Um, for now, I will just focus on unlocking more areas. Maybe we'll do some more exploration, but I, I do want to progress more in the story, so... I don't know. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I do want to... Hopefully next time, we'll be able to unlock more areas. Because now we don't have any specific way to go. So I think what I want to do is to go to... Yeah, unlock these two areas. And then head here, which is hopefully where we'll find the uh, this one. Yeah, the beast, the beast and the princess. So yeah, our objective right now is just to get the uh, stables, and then we'll see where we go from there. So yeah, let me uh, go to Kakariko Village real quick. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this. I I've been thinking about doing maybe slightly shorter episodes, so that hopefully I can edit them a little faster, and maybe even be able to post more videos. I have mentioned that I want to do more videos, and maybe eventually do other series. So like maybe some, some weeks I can do two videos of Tears of the Kingdom. And in other weeks, I can do multiple videos or multiple, yeah, different series is what I mean. But um, we'll see. I don't know. I think actually we, we have some, yeah, uh, for the time that I had prepared for this, we still have 10 minutes. Let's see if we can make it to the next area. Should be this way, I guess. There is this bridge and then it leads over here. Uh, there is the, yeah, Nekluda. Okay, so but yeah, th there is, should be another stable here. And then, yeah, there's probably the, the Fairy Fountain mission over there. So yeah, let's go to that and then see if we can... Before we start the quest, we'll probably end it there. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Okay, so I, I wasn't doing any commentary at this point because I didn't... You know, I was just making my way to the next area. But I see what I found. So... Drummer, drummer man, drummer boy. Keep that in mind. That will come back soon. <laughs> Sooner than you think. Oh gosh, I see building materials. Is this bridge gonna be finished or...? Oh, I think it is. Okay, it seems to be. <laughs> Alright, nice. There's a stable, I think. West Nakluda stable. Will this be West Nakluda? Yeah, this is West Nakluda. So East Nakluda will be... Never... Yeah, okay. <laughs> She'll be over to the... the right, right? The east is to the right? I've always struggled with that. But uh, someone told me about the never eat soggy waffles thing, and that helped me figure it out. Oh, sorry, sorry, Beetle. Here we are, though. So we pick stable. Let's see E for boy is around here. No, you don't see him unless he's maybe talking to the troop. No, I don't see him with the troop. Pen, pen, hello, pen. <laughs> unless I'm especially blind right now, I don't see pen. So let's say hi to the troop. I guess it's weird. He's not the same. Ah, I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Alas, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at the woodland stable. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will be just a thing to cheer her up, but... Beat simply isn't here. Is he alright? Beat is a young drummer who plays over the stable. Oh, I think I saw him. Okay. I was like, nah, this gotta be another side quest, but I'm pretty sure I saw him before, yeah. But one day, he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Maybe near Kakariko village to the north, where the road bends around Banur Banuru's stand. Yes, okay, so yeah, since we... I, I was gonna leave it here, but since we just saw him, let's actually go back. Yep, yeah, I don't know if we have to figure something out for him, but... Um, yeah, let's just get to him. Yeah, see, there was this Gerudo who was walking around. And she was like, oh, I hear some drums. Yeah, is that a drum? Hello there. Be dum be dum. Come on. Be dum be dum be dum. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, what are you doing? Whoa. Hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. What? Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play in has been a little down. I figured I'd made him honey crabs. Oh, that's Jules Shearer or Maestro right up. Aww. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crabs without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are, are three cums of honey. Someone said there are some beehives around Kakariko village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. That hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Honey be mine. Wow. Wait a second. 
What's that I smell? Something sweet? Uh, maybe in your pouch there. Yeah, I have some honey. I don't think I... Do I have three? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I do. With this, I can whip up a honey crap for the conductor of my troop on the double. Oh, okay. There's a little something for helping me out. Take it. All yours. Yo, 100 rupees. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks. Beats kind of goaded. What did you say? The stable traders are back in action? Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run into them sooner or later. Shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Hey. Well, until next time. If there's a next time. See ya. There you go, look at the gang. Oh, there's the man of the hour. Look at this, or rather, listen. It's Beats, our stalwart drummer Beats has returned. A sorry troop leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But the beating heart of the stable throughout pulls us even more. Three cheers for our own Beats. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, one who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Yes, I don't know why we keep asking Great Fairy. <laughs> Link just keeps forgetting about the Great Fairy every time. Uh, I must be mistaken. I merely assume because the Great Fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to Dueling Peak's table. Y yes, you, you, already, you already told me this, dude. Y y yes, he he's back. Oh, the bridge to the Great Fairy is broken, oh. How are horses supposed to cross? Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? Uh, what? That's right, we can cross the river. To the river, everyone, all together now. Wait, what? Can, can you do that? I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you her blessing when she wakes up. If you have time, I'd be honored if you could be there for her performance. Wait, are they actually gonna cross the river? What? Wait, was that like a fake out? Because it felt like it was gonna be like, oh, you must build the bridge back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way they can cross, right? It's no way. I got All right, I got this, guys. Don't worry. Oh, am I supposed to make like, a, like make it so it can float on the water or something? I don't know. The bridge is a bust, but I thought it might not be hard to cross the river. I see now that I'm mistaken. Yeah, it's a big river. But if we took over Breezer's wheels and floated across the river, the current will run the planet ground. Right, I keep forgetting there. Oh, sorry. I keep forgetting there are materials here, right? So I think all we should need is yeah, this driving thing. And then we just take this with us. Actually, yeah, I guess I gotta go this way. And I guess the battery. Yeah. Because we took no idea where to get that refinery. Place it on the front. So it doesn't bother you guys. But actually. Oh, this is the back. Sorry, my bad. We will place the controllers on the other side. So I guess it should go here, technically. This is where the where it's connected to the to the ports. Oh gosh, oh, not like that. There you go. And now we should be good. Unless I don't know. Does this float? I just assumed that it floats, but maybe it doesn't actually. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, can can this float? Is this enough? It seems to be. Right. Look at this, Mastro. Hop in, I'll take you, yeah. Come on, get on board before he changes his mind. Yes, I, I will, I will. Can I not, hello? Control, yes. Go, go, yeah, let's go. Nice, 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 okay, turn, 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 turn that way. Yeah. And we have arrived. There we go. Places, everyone, places. The great fairy needs us. Yeah, there you go. Now with some drums. There it is. I thought we had already seen Kotera. It, it is a similar name, isn't it? Uh, one of the other sisters, I guess. Yo, I love when the thing kicks in. We've done it! Uh. Yes, sir. Uh, I think my heart just picked up the tempo. <laughs> the musical stylings of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Malaise? Mal malaise? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you once again. I prepared the token of things so, so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. 100 rupees, thank you. And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. I'm proud to say that the great fairy Kotera is at peace. 
But she wasn't the last great fairy still shut away in her flower bud. That's why we must be off at once to visit the next great fairy. Thank you for your valuable assistance. No problem. It was nice, I guess, because, yeah, the, not the previous episode, but the episode before that one, we freed one of the great fairies. So I guess now, freeing another one, maybe next one will free the other one, or, I mean, after that. We'll see. With that out of the way, let's leave this episode right here, everyone. Sorry, that ending. <laughs> I was really expecting to er end it earlier than this. But um, it was a lot of fun still. It was nice to be It's nice to be back. And I guess, yeah, after a week of wave, even though, you know, the previous week there was uh, an episode, but... Yeah, a couple of weeks there was, and so I guess it's, you know, a bit of a treat, let's say. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, let me know what you think, if you'd like to see more of the main story. like to see if you're good seeing, you know, more exploration. Because, uh, you know, I want to make the most of this game, obviously. And there's a lot of exploration to be done. I don't want to, you know, spend a lot of time doing, like, the more, you know, what do you call it? Like, the, yeah, the, the time-consuming, but also just more repetitive things. Like, the whole Addison part, I, I've just been doing on my own or just, you know, as far as fast as I can. So, uh, yeah, that's probably how I'll do from now on, like, just focus on the on the big parts, even if it's a story that is not main thing, even if it's still, you know, like a, a side adventure. So, so far what I've been doing is just doing main quests and side adventures, right? And if there's a side quest that is interesting, I might do that, but for the most part, I'll just be focusing on those. So, yeah, with that out of the way, thank you so, so much once again for coming by, if you made it this far. If you are new here, check out other of my videos. And if you enjoy those, consider subscribing. Also streams. I also do streams, so check those out if you're interested. But with that said, I'm Aaron, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone. Take care.